Hi everyone, it's myself Ashlyn Matthew and I'm going to talk about axiomatic definition of probability. So in the previous videos we have come across the classical definition of probability and the statistical definition of probability and some of its limitations. So because of its limitations we have found that it is incomplete. So here is a better definition which is the axiomatic definition of probability. So this is the axiomatic definition of probability. So given a non-empty set omega and a sigma field of subset of omega denoted by script letter A, a function P from the script A to R is called a probability measure if it satisfies the following axioms. That means for the axiomatic definition of probability, we have a non-empty set omega, which is said to be the sample space, which we might have, we might also denote it by S, capital letter S. Now, now here what we have given is the set omega. It is taken to be the set omega. And we define a sigma field of subsets of omega. So, it is a function from this sigma field to this real line R. Probability is a function, is, a, is defined as a function from this script letter A, the sigma field to this real line R. And if it satisfies these three axioms, it is called a probability measure or it is a probability function. So the first axiom is probability of A greater than or equal to 0 for all A belongs to this script A. For all those elements in that sigma field, the probability is always greater than or equal to 0. That means this probability value cannot take a value that is less than 0. And since uh, probability of A is greater than or equal to 0, we can call this axiom as the axiom of non-negativity because it doesn't take a value which is a negative value. The next axiom is that the probability probability of omega is equal to 1. That means the probability of though that wall sample space happening is 1. And we know if the probability value is equal to 1, it is called it is a certain event. So we call this axiom 2 as the axiom of certainty. And the third one is if AI is a sequence of mutually exclusive subsets of omega, then probability of union of this AIs, union of these elements is equal to summation of probabilities. We can write it as summation of probabilities. And since this probability of unions can be written as the summation of probabilities, we call this axiom the axiom of additivity. In this definition, there are a few things that we are not familiar with. One of that is the sigma field. What is a sigma field? And another thing is that here the function, the probability function P is mapped from this sigma field to a set R. So the domain is the sigma field and the core domain is the real line. But we know this probability, the function probability or the probability function P takes a value which is greater than or equal to 0. So, the negative axis is not taken. So, the range begins from 0. And also, probability of omega is equal to 1. That is, the omega is the sample space and the probability of that space is equal to 1. So, the range of this function, the probability function, the range of this probability function will be to closed interval 0, 1. So, the core domain is a real line, but the range will be 0 to 1. Now, we shall look what is a sigma field. A sigma field is a non-empty collection of subset of subsets is a non-empty collection of subsets script A of this omega if it satisfies some properties. 
and that properties are listed here. If an element of A, if A belongs to the script A, then A complement must also be there in the script A. So for this script A, for this sigma field, for script A to be a sigma, sigma field, if there is A in the script A, then A complement must also be there. Then only we can call this A as a sigma field. Also, if AI belongs to A for all I equal to 1 to N, then its union must also be there. Suppose if A and B are there in our uh, sigma field, so then A union B must also be there in the sigma field for it to be a sigma field. So, here is an example. Consider the example of tossing a coin twice. So, if you are coin, if you are tossing a coin twice, so the sample spaces HH, HT, TH, and TT, isn't it? Yes. So, I define for the first sigma field to be phi omega ht th tt and hh we shall check whether it is a sigma field we know the first element is phi that is the null set we know if a belongs to a sigma field then a complement also belongs to the sigma field what is the complement of phi the complement of phi is omega isn't it the complement of the null space is the total sample space. So, A complements belongs to that space because since phi is there, omega is also there. Now, what is its union? Phi and omega are there. What is its union? Its union is again omega. Okay. Now, the next element is HT. A head and a tail. So, its complement is TH, TT and HH, the rest of the uh, sample space. And what is its union? Its union will be omega and its intersection will be phi. So, this is how a sigma field is defined or here the script A1 is a sigma field. Similarly, script A2 is also a sigma field because there is a phi. There is an null space, there is an omega. Now, H, H, T, T, H is there. Its complements are there and its union will give the omega and it's a combination. Like A2 is a little more bigger set and A1 is a small set. Or A1 is a small sigma field and A2 is a little more bigger sigma field. So, here is the axiomatic definition of probability given a non-empty set omega and a sigma field of subsets of omega denoted by A. A function P from this sigma field to the real line is called a probability measure if it satisfies the following axioms. And those axioms are here. The first one is the axiom of non-negativity. The second one is the axiom of certainty and the third one is an axiom of additivity. Thank you.